regarding knowledge transfer, in, when you're talking about academia, we cannot nowadays, currently, unfortunately, we are not any more placed in silos as it used to be a few years ago. And so knowledge transfer is very much related with the fact that industry, research, academia and development are all in one. And what we're doing in terms of research and development, it's something that needs to be valued and that needs to create added value for, for companies and for the industry. And so currently when we talk about knowledge transfer, which is something that has fortunately become a very sexy, a very sexy momentum at, at European level, we are talking about the capability that we have in terms of trans translating innovation and research to development and added value. And that is something that fortunately and more, more likely in the, last, in the last years we have seen as something which is mandatory in terms of KPIs of research projects and development projects as well. And so I would say that knowledge transfer is, is this capability of converting research into innovation, development and added value. I think that we can, we can use knowledge transfer to improve skills and also skills to improve knowledge transfer. We can go on a very bilateral uh, development way because if we think on us, on academia, on, on research and development, what we think is that in the last five, six years, we have seen a huge growth in terms of startups and spin-offs that have been created from students that just ended their bachelor's and their master's and that they have ideas and also skills to create value for industry. And so they are uh, creating, I would say, intermediary companies that might help industry for development, but that might also uh, help and add some value to, to the value chain. And when you're talking about skills by themselves, what we think is that when you're talking about knowledge transfer and how can knowledge transfer value skills, it is also a little bit about on education and formation on the people that are already in development of certain industries. The people that are working in the forefront, they need to be skilled to be able to apply it. So when you're talking about that transfers from academia to companies, it is something that has to do not only with knowledge transfer, but also with the skills from, from workers. So that, once again, research can lead to innovation, innovation can lead to added value, and added value to, to that increasing capacity of, of uh, enlarging and growing the society. Currently, and we have a significant number in, in my university, we have a significant number of research projects, and most likely in the last three to, to four years, all the projects and all the research projects have something new. They have to have the industry integrated on the project. Why? And most, most times, the industry needs to be the leader of the project. And why is that? Because if, if you compare, for example, Southern Europe with Northern Europe, there are certain differences in terms of this type of development. There is a, 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 some story and, and some influence in Northern Europe from the industry financing some research projects in a kind of a problem-solving way that the industry has a problem, bring it to the academia and they finance ways to solve that problem. In Southern Europe, that is not something which is very common or as common as we would like so, to be it so often. And so the way that we have found or the countries have found in order to kind of a little bit spin over this, this, this situation, it has been to create industry and integrate industry on research projects and sometimes as leaders. And this makes that the research project is not something that you are researching whatever you'd like, you are researching something that the industries need to be solved. And this is something that has, has worked on, on a way to increase knowledge transfer. Why? Because you are researching on something that will lead to certain innovation, that will lead to a, a solution of a problem on, on companies. I think that renewable energies are, uh, I would say, one of the research domains in academia in which knowledge transfer is on the forefront of the, of the development. Because, not only because of this current situation, and we talk about, we're talking about now an, a huge increase in terms of energetic costs, and so each and every single state they want to be, has 
sustainable and autonomous as they can in, in terms of energetic, energetic policy. And so in this specific case, the case of renewable energies, they are uh, something that not only the academia, but also the industry, they are worried with it and they want to give that step forward in order to change it. You can link directly the things related by education, skills, capability of the workers of a certain industry to do that step and to change from fossil to renewable energies. And so I would say that that is one of the domains in which the transition and the, I would say that the knowledge transfer into industry, it's easier to do because the industries are eager to, to do that step. And so I think that is, that is there was a good, a good point for us to start.